The Prophet said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that the last people to come out to Dajjal will be women. Are you going to be angry with him for that? Our sisters in the world of Islam who have taken up the cause of the feminist movement are you going to be angry with the Prophet for that? Do you have more knowledge than he has? Is he a male chauvinist now? <laughs> he said that the last people to come out to Dajjal will be women. And a man would have to return to his home and his family and tie down his wife and sister and daughter to protect them from Dajjal, to coercively restrain them, to protect them from Dajjal. Are you going to be angry with Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam? Then kindly part company from us. Because what this hadith indicates is that women who fall under the influence of Dajjal, not all will do that. No, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we have sisters in Islam who cannot be seduced by Dajjal, who will not give up the hijab, not for anything. What this hadith indicates is that women who come under the influence of Dajjal are going to be brainwashed. I don't know whether you have a term in Bahasa for that. You do? Brainwashed. <laughs> Meaning, you could talk as much as you want. You will not be able to convince them. It's an exercise in futility. Because they are brainwashed. Talking to them and warning them is like throwing water on the back of a duck. It'll just flow off. Hmm? Brainwashed. They will lose the capacity for rational thinking. And become like robots in the hands of the child. We say... That this is the explanation, this hadith, this is the explanation of a modern Western feminist revolution which is taking the world by storm for the last hundred years and more. We say that Dajjal is the mastermind of the modern Western feminist revolution. You may differ with us because you are brainwashed. So your differences with us makes no difference to us because you are incapable of rational understanding when Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam has spoken in the way that he has spoken. Don't be angry with me tonight. I have a job to do. Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam went on to describe for us the implications and the consequences of that modern western feminist revolution. Listen to what he had to say. And this is Kalamul Anbiya. They say in one sentence, the prophets of Allah, in one sentence, that which will take us hours to explain. The angel came to him, Jibrail alayhi salam. Just before he died, the angel came in human form into the masjid and asked the five questions. I don't have to repeat them, Puchum, because you know them. And question number five was, what are the alamat sa'a? What are the signs of the last day? And among the answers that he gave was this. 
an talidal amatu rabbataha that a slave woman would give birth to her mistress and now we want to understand why did he say sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam that a slave woman will give birth to her mistress for this we have to go again to the hadith in which Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu waslam prophesied about akhiru zaman that women would dress like men that's an amazing thing huh? that women would actually dress like men one day when Musa alayhi salam sister when he was there in Sinai in my body yeah, by the well do you remember and the two women were there the two girls with their sheep and you remember he watered the sheep for them you, of course you remember don't you and then they were able to go home but when, he, when Musa Islam sat down underneath the tree and he prayed to Allah, if you have any good for me, please give me, I need it, I need it, I need it, O Lord. And then from the distance, one of the girls came, one of the girls came back to meet him. And she's alone and he's alone, nobody else is there. Do you remember how Allah described how she was coming? Huh? She was coming back in a state of bashfulness in a state of shyness hmm? but when the jazz women go out dressed like men they lose their femininity they lose their femininity they become increasingly masculine the Quran describes the creation of the male and the female as synonymous to the creation of the night and the day. Where did it do that? Hmm? Where? In Surah Al-Layl. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا تَجَلَّى And by the night and that which it shrouds so mysteriously, so filled with splendor. And by the, the day and its bright light, penetrating light, nothing covered, nothing concealed. وَمَا خَلَقَ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنثَى That in the same way that Allah created the night and the day, so too did Allah create the male and the female. So Allah wants the night to remain night, sister. And Allah wants the day to remain day, sister. And when the night is night and when the day is day, look what happens. There is intense attraction between the two. And do you notice that when the day is approaching the night, what happens? It still happens in Islam. But it's gone now in France and in Singapore and in the United States and Britain. When the day is approaching the night, there is so much excitement that the sky is painted in a riot of colors the sunset the sunset is there as a sign of the excitement of the day as he approaches the arms of the night and when the day touches the night the day plunges into the night when last did you look at the sun setting beneath the sea. That excitement has to be preserved. 
And it can only be preserved when the day remains day and the night remains night. But the Dajjal says, no, <laughs> my night must become day. And so she loses her femininity. And so the attraction of the day for the night begins to wane, to become weaker and weaker. Until eventually the day is no longer so attracted to the night. Oh my, that's going to be a problem now, eh, sister? Are you listening? Then Allah's messenger said something more. He said that men are going to dress like women. Now don't be angry with me, please, I beg you. Well, you can be angry during the lecture, but after the lecture over, we must be friends and drink some tetari. He said that men are going to dress like women. One more time, don't be angry with me. If a man has to dress like a woman, the first thing he has to do is to shave off his beard. I told you, don't be angry with me. If a man has to dress like a woman, the first thing he has to do is to shave off his beard. Do you know why Allah put the beard on the face of the male? It doesn't matter whether it's plenty here or a little bit of hair. Still, there's enough here. Two reasons. The first is to be able to distinguish the male from the female. Huh? So what's going to happen when men start dressing like women? And the attraction of the day for the night is becoming weaker and weaker. The Dajjal is going to rub his hands and say, mission accomplished. Because now the day will get married to the day. And you'll have a marriage certificate. And the night will get married to the night. And you'll have a marriage certificate. Sister, that is where modern Western feminist revolution is taking mankind. And we don't want to go that way. We who follow Muhammad want to go in a different direction. Where the attraction for the male and the attraction for the female must remain powerful. Powerful. <laughs>